Right. Our exclusive story today is about Xanax. You may remember a year ago, this programme revealed how teenagers across the UK were abusing counterfeit Xanax pills. Xanax is also known as Prazolam, and it's a powerful tranquilizer which should only be available on prescription. This morning, we can reveal that at least 204 deaths have been linked to the drug in the UK since 2015. Of them, there were 126 fatalities involving Xanax in Scotland between 2015 and 2018. And 17. Of the 113 drugs deaths last year in Northern Ireland, a quarter of them involved Xanax. The UK Border Force say they've stopped nearly 400,000 counterfeit Xanax pills from entering the country at ports and airports. The drug can be obtained on private prescription in the UK, but counterfeit versions are often misused and are frequently mixed with other dangerous substances. Our reporter Noel Phillips has been investigating the problem. His exclusive report contains descriptions of drug taking. It's a tranquilizer prescription drug which is used to treat anxiety, but instead counterfeit versions are being abused across the UK. I was on my support machine. Uh, I took a little Xanax on Friday and I died. And, uh, what what I was, do you mean you died? I died, my heart stopped. Xanax is the brand name for Alparazolam, one of a group of drugs known as benzodiazepines. The NHS does not offer the pills. They are only available on private prescriptions, but unsafe counterfeits are available on the so-called dark web. Exclusive figures seen by this programme show at least 35 deaths involved Alprazolam or Xanax in England and Wales between 2015 and 2018. In Scotland, there were 126 fatalities involving the drug between 2015 and 2017. Meanwhile, in Northern Ireland, a total of 43 deaths were linked to Xanax. Well, of the 113 possible drugs deaths last year, 25% uh, of those we believe involves Xanax. He's here because he, he didn't listen. And I kept begging him to listen. Xanax was the problem with him. He was addicted and I tried so hard. These pictures don't tell the whole story of 20-year-old Kyle Ramsey's life. His family say the computer science student didn't appear to be a regular drug taker. But unbeknown to them, he was getting counterfeit Xanax online. He's one of 21 people who died in England having used the drug in 2017. The, these um, Xanax are open to every single child. Everywhere. They just go on the web. And then you're left with the death. The day before Kyle died, you had a conversation on the yeah. phone. And he made a promise to you, didn't he? Yeah. It was giving up the Xanax for good. And he took some Xanax that night, and I asked him, how many did you take? He said, they're not working, don't worry, Mum. I said, how do you know they're not working, please? I would, he said, Mum, I'll ring you in an hour. I tried to ring him back over and over. He didn't answer. When Xanax enters the blood, it slows the brain down. Counterfeit versions are often laced with other substances, including sometimes fentanyl, a painkiller 50 times more powerful than heroin. You just thought it was a party thing. All the love in the world didn't save him. Xanax killed him. I've known Kyle since he's about seven. I'm like his big bro. Ray knows all too well the side effects of Xanax. He wants to use the drug with Kyle. You have a few drinks, if someone gets offered, you think, let's have a pop. If I was sober, maybe I would have thought twice about it. But at the time, it was just like, all right, I went, I went with the flow. Big mistake, I'll tell you that now anyway. It's a mistake that a lot of young people, including your friend Kyle, made. Exactly. I mean, when you look back, is there anything that you think that could have been done to? to have saved Kyle and, and to maybe stop him using Xanax? That's, that's a hard question because I don't know because I didn't know how much he was doing it and how regular. And after that time I first done it, I'd never seen him do it around me since. And if he was doing it, he didn't make me aware that he was taking it. Why? Why? Sarah says her son's death is a tragic tale, but an important lesson when it comes to the dangers of the dark web. 
and there is no shortage of illicit dealers on the internet capitalizing on demand. Figures we've obtained show us for the first time what the authorities are up against in places here like Belfast and across the UK when it comes to tackling the misuse of Xanax. We've learned that between January 2016 and December 2018, nearly 340,000 counterfeit Xanax bars, as they are known, with a street value of over £1 million, were seized at ports and airports across the UK. Well, of the 113 possible drug deaths last year, 25% uh, of those, we believe, involve Xanax. And what does that tell us? That tells us that we have a big problem with Xanax in Northern Ireland. No one has a better insight into the growing use of illegal prescription drugs than Detective Chief Inspector David Henderson. He's in charge of investigating drug gangs in Belfast. Well, we had 800 incidents of seizures in the past 12 months to do with Xanax, and the biggest of those seizures was 30,000 tablets in the one incident. And if those tablets had ended up on the streets of Belfast. What could they have done? Well, our operational figures on our drugs deaths of the 113 that were recorded in 2018, 25% of those, there was Xanax present at the scenes. Pfizer, the manufacturer of Xanax, are concerned about the availability of counterfeit versions. Over 82,000 pills ordered online have been prevented from entering the UK from India alone in the last two years. It's early afternoon in Belfast, and it's not long before we see how much of a problem Xanax has become. There's a lot of fake ones going about, and like you could just simply be walking in the street and just drop. Like that scar on my face, I don't know if you can see it, I was, I was having a pee and I just fell under the toilet system and busted my face open. So, like, they're very dangerous, you know? But it's a dangerous risk Patrick and his friends have been willing to take. Before turning to Xanax and other drugs, the 24-year-old who is homeless used to work full-time in a mental health hospital. Can you describe what it feels like when, you, when you're on Xanax? Again, it's, it, there's a feeling of euphoria, but greed comes into play. So if you take too much, you'll do things that you don't remember. You know it can kill you. Yeah. The authorities, you know, warn people not to do it. Why? Again, that, that's, a very good, that's a very good question. It's a very hard one to answer. But again, I'm homeless at the minute. But when I took Xanax, I wasn't homeless, so I can't even use that as an excuse, do you know what I mean? On a side street nearby is another homeless man struggling with his addiction to the Class C drug. When was the last time you used Xanax? This morning. This morning? Yes. How much did you take? Three bars. Three full bars. So at the moment, you're high on Xanax? No. They've not hit me yet. They, they, they haven't... They take, they take a while to dissolve, and then when they, once they dissolve, it takes them a while to get through your system, and then they hit you. So uh, right now, I'm not high, but I will be probably very soon, but not right now. Like. 22-year-old Andy is dependent on Xanax. Despite the risks, he says he takes up to 20 pills a day. I'm only out of a coma there on Sunday. I was on a life support machine. Uh, I took a load of Xanax on Friday and I died. And, uh, what what I was, do you mean you died? I died, my heart stopped. Um, they cut my clothes off. Um, gave me some piano, but my, 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 I had to put tubes. I was on a life support machine. And by Sunday at 12 o'clock, they were turning off the machine, but on Sunday morning at 8 o'clock, I woke up, thankfully, or they were shutting it off. And, and you were in a coma because of Xanax? Yeah. And I still take them. Why? I don't know any better. The Department of Health has told us they are concerned because almost all Xanax tablets available in Northern Ireland are illicit. They go on to say there can be a real risk of overdose to anyone who takes them. But the problem with prescription drugs is much bigger than Xanax. These are really powerful medicines, uh, and these are legitimate uh, benzodiazepines, and these are diazepam. Uh, one of the biggest issues we've seen is the legitimate product being diverted onto the criminal market. Inside the UK's medicines regulator warehouse are thousands of boxes containing benzodiazepine, sold under various brand names but often obtained illegally without prescription. It's really, really concerning and it's terrible that sometimes these things end in tragic consequences. So it's very important for us to get the message out that don't buy from unregulated sources. 
In Scotland, the police and government tell us they are aware of Xanax and are monitoring its misuse. Meanwhile, NHS Grampian in Aberdeen recorded 29 deaths in 2017, compared to just 11 the year before. But back in Belfast, Xanax isn't just being abused on the streets. First time I used Xanax was in prison, and to be honest, I can't remember what happened. I was told days after that I put two prison officers in hospital, and I ended up with an extra two years in prison. 24-year-old Kyle has now stopped using Xanax. His wake-up call came last year when he overdosed on heroin. So you put your life at risk for a tablet that could have potentially, you know, killed you? Mm, yeah. Was it worth it? At the time, yes. But as I look back at it, no. But for many, it's a struggle, a habit hard to kick. Illegally obtained at drugs like Xanax are costing lives in this city and across the UK. Do you want help? Yeah, I've tried to get help. Uh, I've been, I've been on uh, programs. I go to drug outreach, which is a place that helps with people with drug addictions, and probably won't see 25 if they don't stop. You know, I'd be lucky if I see 23. Yeah.